Welcome to SSP TV Community News. I'm Lisa Sugart. Today we are here at Christ Evangelical Lutheran Church on Main Street in Cunningham to talk about a very special program called Emmaus Road. It is a special ministry that is operated out of this church that helps those in need get where they're going. I'm pleased to be joined now by Brother Fred Jacksheimer. He is a Franciscan friar of the Third Order, but also the ministry team leader for Emmaus Road. Brother Fred, thanks so much for joining us today. Tell us about Emmaus Road. How did this get started and what exactly is it? Well, we're a transportation ministry. We take people to their medical appointments, uh, also grocery shopping or to a Valley Food Pantry or other food pantry. Uh, we got started about uh, seven years ago. Ten people uh, agreed to sort of join forces and help out with this transportation need for people who didn't have normal transportation. And the church here at, at Christ Lutheran agreed to be our sponsor, and yet we're an ecumenical ministry. We have drivers from eight different uh, churches and some unaffiliated, and we serve you know, people all over the valley area and, and get them their needed transportation to doctor's appointments and other medical services. And it's been a really, really great ministry. Sounds like something wonderful. Are there a lot of people who rely on this service? Uh, at this time, we have, uh, I think, 21 travelers that we're helping. That number changes over time. Uh, and we have about 15 active drivers. We actually have 18 approved drivers, but some are out due to medical issues. And so we're kind of, uh, we're in need of drivers right now. And that is the purpose for us being here today because we want to make sure that people watching maybe can help you meet that need. So if someone is looking to be a driver to help out, tell us exactly what they would have to do to get approved and become a driver. And then once they are approved, what do they do? Well, to, you would have to fill out a driver application. We have an application form. Uh, we request a three-year uh, driving report from the state. And once you fill out your application and sign uh, the appropriate forms, that's pretty much all the paperwork that we expect from our drivers. When, when they're called to, to offer trips to take people, their only other uh, administrative requirement is to tell our travel coordinator how many miles they drove and how many hours they volunteered. So it's really kind of nice that the drivers don't have any administrative work after the initial application. If I said I'm going to volunteer then, what kind of duties would I get? Well, what you would uh, receive is a phone call from our transportation coordinator. She usually does two weeks in advance. Um, she would call all the drivers and say, I have these four trips coming up, and the drivers get to choose which one fits their schedule. Uh, you know, if nothing fits their schedule, well, that's why we have a pool of drivers. So our coordinator would go down through the list until she fills all of the, all of the need. And we're about 99% successful at, at, you know, getting people to their appointments and, and to their, you know, make sure they have their food. One of the drivers for Emmaus Road is Carol Crawford. Carol, why did you decide you wanted to do this? Well, at first I was a little leery, you know, because of taking, you know, people. But after the, you know, after I signed up and I started taking people, it is so fulfilling. It really is. You meet so many people, and some of these people don't even get out of their homes that they even don't even get to talk to a lot of people. So you get to be, at the end of the whole thing, you're like friends. And uh, I have enjoyed it very, very much. And I just think uh, this is a time when we should all be given back. And to me, I feel good about doing it because someday I might be in that position where I need help too. So um, I, I've really enjoyed doing it. I feel bad sometimes when I can't, but uh, for the most part, I've been doing it for a couple years, and uh, it's been great. What type of trips have you made? Oh, I've gone to um, doctor's appointments in Danville and Bloomsburg and some local trips around here into Hazleton and uh, wherever. I, you know, whatever the trip 
involves, I'm willing to do it, you know, if I can, you know, so, yeah, it's been great. Have you made friends because of this? Oh, absolutely, yes, yes. I loved a lot of them. Uh, some, uh, one woman recently, too, has passed away and it has broken my heart, you know, because she's so sweet. And I took her a lot, you know, I wish more people could get involved in it, you know, and, um, but I'm hoping that this will maybe help, you know, get the word out to people that do need help you know, that we're here for them. So how did you come up with the name Emmaus Road? Well, Emmaus Road is from uh, the Gospel of Luke chapter 24, where the two disciples are walking from Jerusalem to Emmaus, and Jesus joins them, and for most of the trip, or pretty much all the trip, they don't recognize that it's Jesus with them. And our ministry is based on traveling with another and Jesus is with us, whether we recognize that or not. Now, for someone who does decide that they would like to help you out as a driver, are they responsible for their own gas, or how does that work? Well, most of our drivers uh, pay for their own gas, but we do offer 14 cents a mile reimbursement uh, for those who would like that. You said, you know, that the drivers get more joy, I think, than the people that you're helping. It, it is surprising. Uh, they'll, they'll mention that, you know, there was conversation and they can't believe how they're more uplifted at the end of the trip. And, you know, we actually have drivers have kind of fought over who gets to take <laughs> certain people. They're like, oh, I just miss them. I want to see them. And our transportation coordinator, you know, she gets requests because, oh, I haven't seen these people in a long time. And, and it's really, it's really kind of neat. Well, one last pitch we'll make for this because you want to keep this going. You want to keep helping people, but you need more drivers. That's the bottom line. Yeah, I, cannot, I can't add anyone else to our, our traveler list if I don't have the, the drivers to do it because, you know, we, we need our drivers to still have their lives and, and not reschedule their own appointments. Uh, and we can't increase our scope as far as what we do, which at times we would like to if we don't have the resources. So, yeah, we, we really need drivers so that when some of my drivers go away for vacation or they have an, an injury or a, or a knee replacement or something, that we can continue to do the, the work, great work we're doing.